Hi there. So I've got a lower body focused uh, plus some core. A uh, little workout for you today. So you're going to need a chair um, or you can also use like a ottoman or stool or something that's fairly sturdy and then depending on what kind of floor you have probably a mat uh, and then also a um, slot something to slide with so either you can wear just your socks for your workout or if you're wearing shoes or on barefoot then you can just grab like a face cloth or something like that if you're on a, a hard surface if you're on carpet then you can also grab like a paper plate or even a, a plastic lid from like a Tupperware container and uh, we're gonna do if you don't have anything I'll give you a, another alternative so don't worry about that but um, we're gonna do some sliding stuff which is a little more fun than just stepping out to the side okay so let's start our warm-up so we'll still warm up a little bit in the upper body but it is mostly lower so we'll focus on that so just take the arms and reach up and back. Alternate which arm is crossing on the top. <clears throat> Good, nice big circles. And then take it the other way. Awesome. Okay, and then just swing the arms up nice and relaxed with the thumbs facing back. The biceps are roughly lining up with the ears at the top, so you're reaching up towards the ceiling. Good. Okay, and then just bring your elbows out and just take a little twist towards the back. Good. <clears throat> Perfect, and last one here. Okay, and then hands on your hips, nice big circles. Good, and then go the other direction. Reach the hips back, side, front. Perfect, okay. Taking your right knee, just lift it up and then circle the hip to the side and then to the front. Nice and high, like you're stepping over something. Good, and then let's take it to the other side. Excellent, last one. Good, and then Make sure you have a little bit of room ahead of you. Take your feet wide, bring your hands to the floor, bend the knees a little bit if you need to, stretch out the hamstrings and then walk it out. Hold the plank here for a moment. Make sure the head doesn't drop. Push the floor away so the shoulder blades stay wide. And then walk back in towards the toes and roll yourself up. Let's go down again. Walk it out, pull the belly in towards the spine, tuck the chin a little bit, push the floor away, draw the ribs in, and then back up. And last one here. Good, and then hold. And from here you can either you can drop down to your knees or stay on the toes. Step the right foot up. With this back knee can either stay down or lifted. Right arm is going to twist up and then elbow towards the floor. Inhale, exhale. One more. And then back to your plank or to the knees and then go to the other side. Up and down. Inhale and exhale. Two more. Good plank. Take those toes wider. Walk it in. And roll it up. 
and then set your feet about shoulder distance, sitting back into a squat. Driving up, nice and tall, pressing the knees outward, not letting them cave in. Exhale as you stand, inhale as you lower. Good work, last two. Perfect. Okay, so first exercise we're gonna do is a single leg uh, alternating glute bridge with your feet elevated onto a surface. I'm gonna use this here, you can use your chair. I'm just having two options here, uh, just so that I can face sideways in the camera. So you wanna come down to the floor um, and you're only about maybe a foot away from your stool or chair with your heels on the edge of it, arms by your sides. You wanna make sure that it's against something because you're gonna be pushing into it and you don't want it to go flying. Okay, so engaging the core, feet are about hip distance apart. We're gonna alternate, so we're gonna take the left leg off first. So you're just gonna push through the right and then take the hips up. Watch that they're not dropping. So you're trying to keep them level and then down and then lift the right leg and push just through the left. Down and switch, down and switch. So you're pushing mostly through your heel to connect to the glute, really squeeze. You'll feel the hamstring as well. It's important if you're too far away from this here, then um, you're gonna get too much hamstring. So we want, really wanna get the glutes. And if you find that you end up sort of sliding away, then just scoot yourself back down. Good work, let's try about four more here. So you'll see in the description of the video how many reps to do. Um, I want you to do about 20 all together, but as I'm talking, I'm not always counting exactly. So just so you know for the tutorial portion, um, if you're following along, about 20 all together. If you're watching this and then doing it again later on your own, that's what your goal is. Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way, and now you wanna get your slider, whatever that is. So we're gonna go from a side lunge to a curtsy lunge. So if I'm on my left side, you can start on whichever side you'd like. We're gonna take it out to the side. So keeping your chest upright, we're gonna push our hips back and then slide, come in, and then take it across and behind us, bending both knees. And then back to the front, side, in, and back. So we're working a lot on this right side. So we do have the slider in the left, but it's the right side that's doing most of the work. You'll feel that burn in the quad and the glute. Make sure the hips are pushing back. Watch this front knee. Should be tracking approximately over that second and third toe. So about 10 total, side and curtsy, I'll do one more and then I'll show you what you can do if you don't have a slider. You can just step to the side. So you go out and then take that leg that you stepped with and go back behind you. So step and then back. So that'd be your option. Let's go to the other side. <clears throat> so it's on the right side, We're working the left leg. So push it out, push the hips back, come up, and then behind. Nice and controlled, not fast, slow and steady. Okay, 
good. Then you get the bonus of washing your floors. <laughs> Awesome. I think this is 10 here. Perfect. I'm definitely feeling that burn. If you happen to have weights um, at home, feel free to use those. Dumbbells you can hold by your sides or up at your chest. Okay, so this next one is a pulsing sumo squat. And then we're going to add a calf raise at the top. So sumo, we're, we're just going out a little bit wider, toes angled slightly. So wider than your normal squat distance. You can have your hands at your chest. We're gonna reach the hips back, pulse, pulse, and then stand onto the toes. Pulse, pulse, lit up. Pulling that belly in, Use your core, find your balance, reach the butt back. If you need something for balance, just be near a wall. Pulse, pulse, up. So for these ones, somewhere around 15, maybe even 20. I'll do a couple more here. Squeeze the butt, squeeze the quads and the calves. Good. Take a break. Okay, our last one in our circuit is a single leg squat. This is where you're gonna want your chair. Um, if you try this and your whatever you're using is too low, then grab a, a pillow or something that you could use to elevate yourself. So you're going to sit down so that you know where your chair is. And then starting on one leg, you're just going to lift the other one. And then we're going to stand and push through the one that's on the floor. So you want to make sure that you're starting with about a 90 degree. You don't want your foot so close in that your heel is lifted because you want to push through that foot, especially that heel and then stand up straight. If you need to tap this toe down for balance, that's fine. And then we're gonna sit back, reach the butt back, and then all the way up again. Watch this knee. Watch that it's not caving in. So you're trying to keep it lined up with that second and third toe. And make sure that you're really reaching the hips back. So you can see me from the side. I'm pushing my butt back, tapping down and then up. So I want you to aim for about 10 of these, but everybody is at a different level. So that's why I'm kind of giving options for reps, 10, maybe 15. Also depends on the height of your chair. You might be doing five and feeling like that's hard enough. Okay, other side. Nice and controlled. Watching that core is drawing in. Awesome. Two more will be 10. Push through that heel. Your foot shouldn't be moving. And there we go. Okay, so that was four exercises for your circuit. I would recommend doing anywhere from two to four, maybe five sets all together. So you would do them back to back like I just showed you. Take a rest, repeat that for two to five sets depending on time and how your legs are feeling. 
And then, um, then we're gonna go down to our core portion. So again, this is more of a tutorial, not a complete follow along. Okay. So, core slash glutes some more. So we're gonna start with the donkey kick. Actually, I'm gonna take my mat out. All right, so have your mat, something under your knees if you need for a little bit more uh, cushioning, and then you're gonna come down to the elbows. And we're gonna start with the right leg, so we're gonna flex the right toes, see how they're pointed towards the floor. Push through your heel, make sure you're not collapsing here. So you're pushing the floor away, don't drop your head, just look maybe towards your hands, draw the belly in, and then push the heel up towards the ceiling. Squeeze the butt. Draw in and up. Now watch that you're not over pushing and that you're not excessively arching through the spine. So you really wanna keep the core engaged and make this nice and controlled, pausing for a moment at the top. Push towards the ceiling. So your goal is about 15 to 20 per side. Okay, I'm gonna switch. You'll definitely be feeling that. You'll probably feel that also in the stabilizing leg as well. If you need, again, extra cushioning, you can always roll up your mat for your elbows as well. Okay, flex the toe, push. Make sure you really focus on that glute squeeze. Push towards the ceiling, keep the toes pulling in so you can push properly through the heel. One more. Good. Okay, come onto your side. This is maybe where you want to roll your mat up a little bit for a little bit of extra elbow support. So we're going to do a side lunge with a leg raise. So we want to keep this bottom knee bent and the top leg is straight. So the first thing is make sure you're not collapsing in your shoulder. So push the floor away, draw the shoulder down, staying in that supported position. And then you can push yourself up. Once you're up, take your hand to your hip with this top leg, take it back a little bit, and then lift and lower. Make sure your head stays in line with your spine. If doing this in a side plank, feels too challenging for your shoulder, you can also keep the hip down and just do the side raise. But again, make sure you're not collapsing. So either way, this way just works the oblique a little bit more, plus the um, hip on the bottom leg as well. Make sure that this leg is reaching back slightly to really get in touch with the glute. So with this one, anywhere between 10 to 20, and you're definitely gonna be feeling that. Let's go to the other side. Get set up, don't be in a rush. Push the floor away, bottom knee bent, top leg straight, push yourself up, shoulders back, everything should be stacked here. And then take this leg back a little bit and up. Make sure you're breathing, pulling in. Because we just worked the other side, this bottom leg's gonna really feel the work.
Perfect. I'll do one more here. Good. Okay, and our last one is a dead bug. We're going to do a um, <clears throat> same side. It's a little bit different. We're going to add some resistance as well. So with a traditional dead bug, we're usually starting here and we go opposite arm, opposite leg. We're going to stay on the same side and then so if we're doing, let's say we'll start on the left side. You're going to take your right hand, press it on your right thigh. You're going to push into your right thigh and pull your right thigh in. So you're creating tension there. And then we're just going to move the left side only. So inhale out, exhale in. Keep your ribs down towards the floor and the pelvis really steady. Pull the belly in. Everything stays really controlled. Lots of trunk stability. Don't forget to create resistance with that opposite, opposite side. Good. And then let's switch. So I would say about anywhere from 10 to 20 and then switch. Inhale, exhale. Awesome. There's 10. Do a couple more just for the demo. Perfect. So for the core portion, I would say two to three sets would be plenty. And then so once you're done that, we can start our stretch. So I'll give you an option here since we're on the floor. Let's start with pigeon. So it, sometimes this one bothers people's knees. So this is your first option here. You can stay up or down. So the knee is bent and the hip, or sorry, the heel is near the hip. The toes are bent, um, pointed down. And then you're not caving in towards the right side. You're staying upright and square. Alternative to that would be on your back, doing a more of a figure four type stretch here. Either way, we'll hold that for about 30 seconds. Breathing. Good, and then we'll switch sides. Whether you're doing pigeon or on your back, Good, and then I would come into a child's pose. And then come upright, bring your right leg forward. So you're in a lunge, squeeze your left glute, push the hips forward a little bit, and then reach the left arm over. Bring both hands down and then shift your hips back. Pull your toes in towards you. And then coming upright and the other side. Stay upright, pelvis is neutral so it's pointed forward. Squeeze the right glute and then bring that right arm over. Good, and then bring that left foot forward slightly. Keep the knee a little bit bent, fingertips to the floor, 
flex the toes in, get your hamstring. Good, and then come into a low squat if that feels okay for you. Heels down or heels lifted. And then push the hips up, walk those feet in, keep the knees bent. And then roll it up. Reach up. Bring the hands down, grab onto one of your ankles. Push your hip forward, line your knees up, standing up tall. Good, and then switch sides. Feel free to hold on to something if you need to. Good, and release. Excellent work. Okay, well, I hope you enjoy the workout. Rewatch it as much as you need to. Uh, look at the description for reps and exercise names and all that kind of stuff. And um, let us know in the comments uh, what you like, what you want, what you're looking for. I'll see you in the next video.